welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to play Minecraft. So I'm going to show you how to set up a world. Let me just leave the world. So I'm going to show you every single tip I know. And this is going to be part one. I'm going to have to be doing this in parts. So part one, how to make a world. So how to make a world. So when you spawn in, you're going to be like this. You're going to have to make an account, but then when you're done making an account, you hit play. Okay, maybe load a few minutes. Then you spawn at your worlds. Worlds, friends, and servers. Don't go to servers or friends because you just started playing. So go to create a world. So don't bother with any of this stuff. Just hit create new world. You can name your world wherever you want. I'm going to name it Chris, C-H-R-I-S, Chris. Survival mode. Survival mode is when you're in survival. You have to gather resources and build your base and attack zombies and stuff. Creative is when you can't die in the game and you can't, and you can't have infinite stuff. Like You can just be like, slash give blocks and you get a bunch of blocks in survival you have to get them for pickaxe so creative is where you just build stuff and the difficulty always put it on easy or peaceful if you're a starter if 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 you guys are better at minecraft just put it to normal or hard uh, i'm gonna say if you're new to the game put it to easy so starter map is when you get a map of the whole get a map and and it shows you where you are I wouldn't recommend ever having a starter map. I think it's useless. A bonus chest when you get a chest and torches, and it's like a chest full of loot. So remember, you don't have to worry about that. Yes, make sure it's not on flat unless you're playing in creative. If you're not playing in creative, put the infinite. Seed is where you're going to spawn. You want to spawn in a jungle, desert, desert, mesa, mushroom island, ocean, outpost. Snowy, spooky, sunflower field, survival island. Survival island, I wouldn't really recommend that, but I'm just going to pick village and then go here. So, world options. It could be friendly fly, fire, means you can't die from f f fly, fire, and show cords, means where you're going, and it shows you the numbers. Fire spreads, just, I won't touch any of this. It's all good, it already is already. But keep inventory. So when you die, you keep all of your stuff. I recommend that when you're starting. Because you don't want to rage when you lose all your stuff. And yeah, you hit create world. And and so everything that we that we just did, all of that coding and everything, we just did. It's going to make this one big world that's like infinite. And it's very cool because I hit it to infinite, so it's infinite. And we're not in creative, we're in survival, and we're on easy mode. So, and we're going to spawn next to a village. So, building terrain is, might take a few minutes, but <laughs> you did all that coding, so it might take a few minutes, but when, 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 when you're in the world, so you're going to see a chest, I'm about to show you right now, you're going to see a chest, so let's see if you guys can find the chest, keep that in mind, you're looking for a chest. So, right when we're loading, try to find the chest. That's one of the biggest tips. If you put bonus chest on, always look for the chest before you go to the village. Because you're probably not going to remember where you spawned. And, yeah, I'm, I'm just showing you how to create a world. And, and showing where the bonus chest is. So, yeah. So, 
So when this is all done loading, um, you guys are gonna find the bonus chest and and go to the village. So see you guys can find the chest. Bam! Just found it. With it, you have a pickaxe, axe, and then mine the chest where you get all your loot. Bam! Pick up the torches like I was talking about, and everything. Just grab everything. Now, to the village. Rush to the village. Rush. Run as fast as you can. And the bonus chest gives you wood. And wood is probably the most important thing in the whole game. Everybody has to agree with that. So that's how you make tools and crafting tables. So, here's some sheep. You're going to need food later. So, you're going to need some food. So, jump and hit. It does more damage. So... See, it takes two hits. But if I wasn't jumping and hitting, it'd take me three hits, and then you won't lose. You won't lose durability. Durability is under my axe. There's like this green line. That's how much durability before it breaks. If it gets yellow. You should throw it out or do something about it because the lower the durability, the worse. That means it's gonna break. Just put, letting you know that. So you would see this guy. This really, really weird house with furnaces. These are furnaces and villagers and grindstones. Pick up the furnaces because you're probably going to need them. Because furnaces you're always going to need. And he, and in, in the house, you open a door by hitting it. In the house, you're going to see a chest. You're going to find iron, iron tools, and you have a better pickaxe and armor. So, if you don't know how to put on armor, I'm about to show you. So, armor, see this button with the three buttons on, 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 it, on the bottom right screen? These three buttons, I'm, I'm hitting it. So, you hit your armor, and then you hit your pants. Hit this, and you hit this. So, the move your iron sword. You hit the iron sword, and you hit your axe. Now, it's moved. There you go. And, and there might be another one if you're lucky and you get more stuff. And it could be random. So, this was part one. See you guys next time. I'm the fire boy. Bye.